I'm Judith Jones, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a classic pot roast, a delicious homey roast for a great Sunday with the family. So what you'll need is one onion which we've diced, one cup of sliced baby carrots, one celery stalk which we've sliced, two cloves of garlic which we've chopped, one teaspoon of olive oil, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, four sprigs of fresh thyme, one bay leaf, eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, half a cup of red wine, one cup of beef broth, two tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of olive oil, and three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Here we have one pound of egg noodles and last but not least our delicious chuck roast. This is about three pounds which is tied which I had my butcher do. So we have our slow cooker here and first things first we are going to add some of our vegetables into our slow cooker. In goes our chopped onion, our carrots go in there too, our celery, and our garlic. All right, leave that for a moment. Let's deal with our lovely chuck roast. Now, chuck roast is um, a cut of beef from the front part of the cow, and it's great to use with liquid and to slow cook as it tenderizes it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our olive oil, we're gonna get our fingers, we're just gonna rub the, ch the, the chuck roast with our fingers. Get it all evenly covered. So once that's all covered with your olive oil, don't worry about getting your hands dirty. We're gonna season it with some salt and pepper. Great, this is gonna be a nice rub. Some flavor onto our beef here. Get your pepper on there too. So before we put that in, Let's just put our sliced mushrooms over all those other vegetables. Like so, spread it around a little bit. And we're gonna put, put in, just place the chuck roast on top of those vegetables. Now, let's get our fresh herbs. Our nice thyme here, and we're just gonna tuck them in. We can put them around the beef, by the vegetables anywhere you want and that's just going to give some extra flavor and our bay leaf is going to go in there too. So once our chuck beef is in there we are going to get our mix up our liquid ingredients. So let's get our tomato paste in there. We have our beef broth and our lovely red wine which is just going to give such a nice flavor to our beef. We'll just mix all that in together as all the tomato paste is getting in with that liquid, that is done. And we're just going to pour that over our lovely vegetable and beef mixture. There we go. Now, let's put the lid on. And we're going to cook that on a high heat for six hours. If you haven't got a timer on your slow cooker, um, just make sure you put it on high. And that's it. Now you can just leave it and we'll wait to do the rest. It's been about six hours and we've transferred our meat here onto a plate and it's just looking beautiful. It's nice and tender now, ready to eat. Now we've transferred the rest of that liquid and vegetable into a saucepan on top of our burner right here. We have taken out our four sprigs of fresh thyme and removed our bay leaf as well before we're going to heat that up. And behind me, I have cooking my egg noodles so we can get them nice and fresh and soft to serve up with our pot roast. So with our remaining ingredients, we'll put in our flour and our olive oil. And we're gonna mix that up. And that is gonna go into our, uh, our vegetable liquid mixture so we can get a nice thick gravy from that. And we're just going to transfer this olive oil flour mixture into that. Give it a good stir and that we're going to let cook. Just cook for about a minute. 
until it gets a little bit thicker. So our gravy here has thickened up nicely. That is done now. And all we need to do is slice our pot roast, serve it with some gravy, and we'll get those noodles in there as well, all together. And that is just a beautiful dinner with the family. There you go, that's how you make your classic pot roast. Thanks for watching today, everyone, and make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos. And if you have any email requests, you can email requests at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to answer any questions and queries you might have.